<laughs> okay, well, there's those welds there. I also welded down the edge of this bracket here and across the bottom here. And if we look straight down, you can see where the brackets show, and this pipe is to the left. That means this is just tilted back, and that's what I was talking about having it where it tilts back. In other words, the blades won't be this close, won't be this close to the pole all the way. They'll be out a little bit farther down by the time they get out. Let's flip this over and give you the other side view. And there's some more welds. Tried to make it pretty strong here. I filled in a lot. Real hard to, real hard to grind off in here. Real hard to weld down in those cracks, but we got it. And there's a little bit more of the views. Anyway, so we're up to there. Not ready to paint it yet. I've been painting it every day, every time I get something done. Keep it from rusting and keep everything out. I took a drywall screw down in here to pull off the slag. Because uh, basically if you paint it, then the slag falls off, then you got a rust spot. So. That's why I've been trying to paint everything, getting to clean up each step as I go. I don't have too much more time that I can spend up here. And we still got the, we still have that one there, the green machine to finish up. Trying to finish up today. Oh, I also see I welded a piece of flat steel up here. This is almost a half inch thick. <laughs> I stuck it on there and had it out about this big and just ground it off uh, after I welded. Okay, this is where the top of the other pole comes up inside and hits the top up here. I should have a couple washers. I got a couple washers that'll fit inside this, almost two inch washers. And they'll, the other pipe that uh, are from the tower, this will ride down on it and those, bear, those will be greased and that'll be the bearing for the yaw bearing. All right, so we're looking at the very top, uh, as you can see right here, you see the pole right here, going straight down. Okay, so this is off to this side, that means this wind turbine's gonna go this way. And, anyway, off at about this angle, not straight back, but off at about this angle, there'll be another pipe that comes up 22 degrees from this center here it'll come up 22 degrees and that's what my tail is going to sit on that pipe should be anywhere from about 10 inches to a foot and a half and the tail will go onto that and the length and the weight of the tail will tell it when to furl <laughs> we gotta cut a couple parts <laughs> Alright, I got an edit. I think I got too much out Won't take it long.
Hey, cut that other line before you drop it. Yeah. Hey, man. Yeah, that one. Hang on. Okay, go ahead. Good enough, I can knock it off. Good deal. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm trying to cut cinder block. Hey, I'm trying to put them fires out. <laughs> Damn it, go and get hot. Can you put the coal right up there? Okay. Shoot, my toe getting hot. Whew. One more adjustment. Yeah. All right. No, no, just leave it right there where it was. It'll be better. Okay. It's perfect. All right. I wonder how fast you can cook a turkey inside that cinder block. Real fast. This is propane. Propane with oxygen burns about 800 degrees plus oxygen. It's hotter than the cinder <laughs> Boomer, you do that like you know what you're doing. Yeah, if I just quit shaking, I'd be all right. <laughs> but I guess that's part of getting old, huh? <laughs> okay, well, cut these uh, pieces here just a little bit over what I wanted, so I set them up to where this would fit between them here and down here so I get my proper angle. Actually, it might be a little bit too far in, but that's all right. The longer you make your tail and the heavier you make your tail, the later it will furl. So okay, anyway, we welded down here after I, after I did a little grinding to angle this so it would fit on the edge of the pipe right there. Welded down the inside. Did the same thing over here and welded on the inside on that. See if I can get a shot of that, if it could be seen. Not much. And then welded down, welded down all the way across here. Let's see, let's get the, nope, don't have it. Alrighty, so there's a, there's a shot of the welds. And <coughs> these ones over here. And I left a little hole here. And this bit nice down to here. And I left the very bottom open down there, right up next to it. That way in case it rains, it lets the water out instead of holding water and letting it rust. Okie dokie. Next thing is, let's assemble this thing. We can work on the tail later. I'm Scott Brown with Greenwood, another home energy.